Hey gang, Jack Alert here. Uh, went to Trader's Village today, had some success. Uh, picked up some things for my son, uh, my other son, my friend down in uh, San Antonio, and also picked up some things for me. Before we get to the footage of the flea market, uh, I do want to let you know my battery did die halfway through. I, I expected since yesterday was cold uh, that today would have been kind of a meh day. And it actually turned out to be a really crowded day there. Uh, we wandered around for a while. Uh, actually, my battery ran out right there towards the end so you won't see some of the things that I'll mention. But I did want to bring two things up that I purchased from somewhere else up front. Uh, one of them is an infamous game, which I wanted to give a shot, which is Lifeline. Uh, I have scheduled a uh, weekend coming up soon where I'm just going to sit and try and play this all the way through. I'm hoping to be able to, if everything lines up right, actually be able to stream it live so that everyone can watch the hilarity ensue. Uh, I'll also break it up into different parts uh, online. And while I was picking up that, also found the weirdest thing I've ever seen, uh, which is if we left this sticker on it, but it was $9.99, and it is the Game Track Game Series. Now, I knew nothing about this when I walked in there, but I saw two of them, one with the box and one without the box, and even though it's sun faded, I decided, well, you know what? I might as well give it a shot. And I have not played with this thing yet. I am waiting to. Uh, uh, get a chance to have everything set up and just kind of walk through it but this looks to be really amazing it looks kind of like a predecessor to the Wii it is USB this says that it's the PS2 version uh, so it is designed for one to four players I don't know how one to four players would play considering you'd have to switch the gloves on every I don't know but we're gonna find out uh, so that's it for the Before the Flea Market. Uh, please enjoy us walking around. The snakes? Yeah, and they have the, they have the weird... Hmm? I like the giant robot. That's yeah. pretty cool. I'm a robot! Spy Oh, oh, this is over the car. Cool. How much are the games? The games in five dollars each. Five dollars each. Do you remember Look if I have pro wrestling? <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. I do? Okay. Daddy, don't you remember what this? Put, put this back. <laughs> Big toys. <laughs> this was actually one of my favorite uh, Star Wars characters, General Grievous. And how are you? This is also really good. It's always really good in Star Wars. How are you Lego supposed to open this? Don't know. He even has a delay in any place. Look at this guy. That is awesome. How much is this guy? Seven dollars. Yes, you can go right there and look at the toys. Ball. Yeah, super action, super action, yo, 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 yo. Seems a bit redundant. No, don't brush your face. Goofball. What is this supposed to A plane. The chicken. Yep. 
Do you have that one at home? Yeah. Or maybe somewhere. I don't yeah. know. I don't know where it is. Yeah. Let's just sell gumballs. Yep. And a back to Buzz Lightyear. Put down. Come on. Hang on. I spy with my little eye. Some keys hiding back here. How much are. Oop. Where's. How much are the games? Oh, yeah, the walk is on the case. Which one? What? This one? What? Um, okay. What? Two dollars? Okay. Thank you. Hey, Daddy. I have that. Okay. I have that. I'm going to grab these two. Here, look. That's are these two familiar? Can we get these two? Bag? Nah, it's okay. I'll just, they're small enough. I'll just toss them in my pocket. Put my son with reading and uh, Oreo wear. A bit for two bucks each. Right. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Daddy, can we get this? No. What? No. Go put it back. I think usually they're they're gone by now. I like the zebra though. That's cool. Too bad you guys are both way too big for that now. Come on, How much are these? Get it? The, 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 the robots. 
so I can open it and show it to Mantis. Yep. You want it, bro? Oh, uh, sure. I don't think it'll fit in the one I have. I'm getting a present next. Okay, we get some volume one, volume two. How much are the games? Ten. Ten and five. Ten and five? Okay. Oh, three one winner. Ten and high though. Enjoy that. Uh, I'll kind of run through the things that we got. Uh, my son uh, did pick up Eminem Shell Shocked for the PlayStation 1. Uh, he gave it a little try earlier and played it for about uh, half an hour. I was uh, cleaning my desk at the time, trying to make room for all kinds of stuff. But he seems like he liked it. So get a good thumbs up there. Uh, picked up this which is the Grand Stream Saga. Now, I have never heard of this, so I don't know what to expect, but it's uh, got THQ on it, which I love THQ. And it says that the RPG that debuted at number one in Japan. So I don't know what that means. Also, as a bonus, uh, open it up, and of course, there's a copy of Spyro the Dragon in there along with the actual game disc. So, I believe that's my third copy of Spyro the Dragon for some reason. Uh, picked up a Power Pack Plus. Uh, I know that you saw me install one on uh, one of my sons, and the battery life has been so amazing on that one that I feel $10 is more than worth it to revive uh, some batteries that are starting to, starting to fail, especially if you bought one of the original Game Boys, or the original, wow, Game Boys. I've been organizing my Game Boys on my desk, but if you bought one of the original 3DSs, some of the batteries are just starting to kind of wear out, especially if you have kids like mine where you, they, they play it for two hours, plug it in, play it for two hours, plug it in, leave it plugged in for two days, and then go back to it. But, so we're gonna be replacing this on his and give that a longer battery life as well. Uh, picked up two little guys. You probably won't be able to see these, uh, but I think I could, I think you've already seen a video of it. Uh, WarioWare Incorporated for the Game Boy Advance. Couldn't pass this up, especially for the price. And this one is a Star Wars Jedi reading, uh, K through second grade, five to eight years. My son's just five, uh, so we're gonna dig out the Leapster and see if this can help him. He's having uh... yeah. Reading's hard, guys. English language, nightmare. Um, because uh, I am a fan of Mantis Nine Nines, and uh, he loves uh, knockoffs just as I do, I saw this, and I could not pass it up. I'll try not to kill you with glare, but uh, it looks like an Optimus Prime and two different uh, flavors of Bumblebee. 
so my uh, five-year-old and I will be opening that up and taking a look. Um, there was a, a really great place, and I wish, oh, if I had more money, and if my battery wouldn't have been dead by then, but this lady had a just, okay. In the United States, we all know that Nintendo pretty much won here. So Nintendo stuff, easy to find. This lady had all kinds of Sega stuff. She had the, the, the two different kinds of Model 1 Sega Genesis, and I would have been happy with either. Didn't really want to buy one. She had one of the blue Game Gears in the case with the power pack, the charger, and I believe a master system adapter. I might be wrong on that. And like 30 games that came with it. Now, I have sworn off buying a Game Gear again, there did, I can't play on that system. It just doesn't work for me. I can't do it. For those of you who love it, great, but for me, I can't do it. But she did have two things that I wanted. One is the light phaser for the Sega Master System so that now I can finally play the one, one shooting game that I have and hopefully I can pick up more. So there's the light phaser. And then my friend had sent me out on what I thought would be an impossible task. He sent me a message and he's like, hey, you're really good at finding things. Uh, I, I, I want you to look for an arcade stick for the, the Sega Genesis. I was like, Man, I don't, even, I don't even think I've seen one of those in the wild. I mean, I, I might have seen one, but I don't even own one. And lo and behold, I'm at that same place, and I look down and I see this. A six-button Genesis arcade stick. Ha! No idea. But, and then, of course, I was sitting there thinking, because I knew that I had looked on Amazon, and they were about 20 bucks, and, and then I found, I asked her and she's like, ah, how much is it? And she's like, ah, yeah, yeah. six. I was like, done, done, here's the money. Let me run off with it. But that is it for uh, the pickups from Trader Village. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and as always, play on.